Another common problem, insufficient head state tension, will result in difficulty operating the unit as it turns elliptically out of column. Generally, cruising sailors carry insufficient head state tension. It may be possible to just take up on the backstay. If you have a backstay adjuster, keep the tension on while furling. However, it may be necessary to take up on the head state to achieve proper mast rake. There is a complete turnbuckle in the Harkin furling unit. Do not just take up on the lower visible stud. Start by removing the sail and line and take all load off the head stay. Loosen the torque tube clamp screws and the foils should drop down into the tube. Remove the three screws at the lower end of the torque tube and slide the torque tube up onto the foils and secure by tightening the clamp screws. Lift the foils as high as they will go and lock in place by clamping a vice grip pliers on the stay just below the foils. If the unit has a swedge stud, the locking collar is turned counterclockwise to loosen upwards as far as it will go. If the unit has a Norseman stay lock or Navtech terminal, turn the locking collar clockwise. Turn the collar as far down as it will go. The lower locking nut is loosened completely by turning counterclockwise. Then the washer and locking star washer are lowered clear of the unit. Turn the stainless steel basket counterclockwise to tighten. Once the proper tension is achieved, you should not be able to see the colored die marks on the threaded studs. However, since the colored die marks may have been worn off, measure the exposed thread. The length of exposed thread is different for each unit, so consult your manual for these measurements. When the head stay is tight, align the drum opening so that the furling line does not rub on the edge. Reinstate the bottom star washer onto the pins and turn the locking nut upwards against the washer and tighten with a wrench. If the unit has a swedge stud, turn the locking collar down in a clockwise direction and use a wrench to tighten. You are pressing the plastic cylinder onto the swedge stud. Make it snug, but do not over tighten. If the unit has a Norseman stay lock or Navtech terminal, back the collar up against the terminal base by turning counterclockwise. Use a wrench on the locking collar and a wrench on the terminal to tighten the collar against the terminal. Loosen the vice grip and carefully lower the foils. Loosen the clamp screws to drop the torque tube and secure with the three screws. Reposition the foils to the correct height and secure with the clamp screws.